Richard Miles here from the Science Center of Iowa, and today for Science in 60 Seconds, we're going to talk about the science behind how martial artists break concrete bricks. Now, breaking concrete bricks is basically an application of Newton's third law of motion that says for every applied force, there's an equal and opposite reaction force. So that means when a martial artist strikes a concrete brick with some force, the concrete brick is going to apply an equal and opposite reaction force against the martial artist's hand. And the harder the martial artist applies that force to the brick, the harder the brick's going to apply a force to their hand. To a certain point, you see the brick can only withstand so much force. At a certain point, the brick can't apply any more reaction force, and at that point, it's going to break. So, what does that mean then that a martial artist has to keep in mind when trying to overcome that force that the brick can apply back to their hand? Well, let's look at what a force is. Force, according to Newton's second law of motion, is equal to mass times acceleration, which uh, basically means that the greater the mass behind the strike and the greater the acceleration of that strike, the greater the force is going to be. So a martial artist is going to try to maximize the amount of mass that they put behind that strike to make that force as great as possible. Of course, they can only put so much mass into it because they only weigh so much. Uh, in fact, if they try to put all their body weight into it, they may not be able to maintain control and may fall over. So they can only put so much mass into it. At the point when they've put as much mass as they can into the strike, all the rest of the force is going to have to come from the acceleration. And the acceleration is directly related to the impact velocity. So to increase that acceleration, a martial artist basically has to hit it with a very high impact velocity. The higher the impact velocity, the greater the acceleration. Now one last thing that a martial artist needs to keep in mind when they're trying to break a brick is follow through. It's human nature to try to, to want to hesitate at the moment of impact because you're afraid it's going to hurt. But unfortunately when you do that, you do some of the work for the brick because you decelerate in the process. So you take away some of the force. The brick doesn't have to apply as much reaction force to stop you. So now that we know all the science behind what martial artists need to keep in mind when they're actually breaking a brick, I think we're ready for a demonstration. Shall we? So that's a little bit about how martial artists use science to break and technique to break concrete. I do want to point out that this could be potentially dangerous, so this is something you definitely don't want to try at home. If it is something that looks like fun, something you want to learn how to do, I suggest going to your nearest martial arts studio that employs brick breaking as part of their training regimen, and in a couple years you'll be breaking bricks too. Uh, that's it for this episode of Science in 60 Seconds. I hope you come down to the Science Center soon and see some other cool experiments. I hope you learned something and had a good time. Thanks.